This next voice may be a voice you are slightly more familiar with on a Thursday afternoon, because I'm really excited to say, in front of me right now, I'm, I've got my dear friend, Anne Lord Jackson. <laughs> Ta -da! Hello. So uh, you're here as well at Teach Camp, and I missed, I was really upset, I got here a bit late, and I didn't manage to catch uh, the talk you were doing, but I saw people coming out saying, oh, Oh, that was good. Oh, oh, that that I I like that. That was really helpful. So, how how has Teach Camp been for you so far? Yeah, I, it's just always amazing to be here. These these, these are my people, like home educators, like folks who are committed, uh, committed to God, and it's just great to be here. Yeah, so I'm talking about sensory issues and finding the right fit between how they educate and doing it in a way that they can thrive and enjoy academics and life and yeah, live well. Um, and in busy environments. Sensory stuff is interesting um, because we've got lots of noise going on. We've got a microphone, which is sort of cancelling out some of it. But in a sense, with our senses, we sort of we instinctively want to do that, but it's not always that easy. No, it's not always that easy, and that's what I was talking about this morning. Um, talking about how someone who'd gone through the whole home education space, gone into work, was a beautiful character, really, really lovely person, but actually wasn't thriving in work. And it was how she knew she was struggling, but just didn't know how. So we've been together to try and work out, yeah, how to assess what's going on sensory wise so that she can actually flourish um, in the workplace, which was similar to the noise that is here because camps are busy places. Yes, camps, festivals. See, last week we talked on festivals. Um, I've already said on air that hopefully today we're going to record for Thursday, since we're actually in the same room at the same time, my first ever an on-site live Anne Lord Jackson interview. It's like a Zoomless Zoom. <laughs> this is so strange. I can actually see you and look at you and think, oh, it's really it's great to be here. It's really funny. I arrived and Dawn, who's one of the staff, um, greeted me. And I had no clue who she was. Um, mostly because I chatted to her on Zoom, but I only get a head a headshot view. And I think it's something that we were chatting about with a few folks at Big Church Festival. We're in a society in a time now where we recognize people's shoulders and head and we forget there's like there's a body and there's arms and legs and stuff. And who are you? But, you know, just just cut off your head and I know who you are. And it's the height of you and the size of you. It's just like, oh, you're a lot you're a lot taller than I thought you were. Or you're a bit bigger. Or you're a bit smaller. It's just like, yeah, we we create spaces. We fill things in, which is part of our visual processing. Actually, when you only have a head and a, and a, and a shoulder, you automatically fill in the rest because that's what our brain does. And sometimes we don't get it right. In fairness to Dawn, she did say, oh, yes, I had my hair quite high the other day. Where today is down, which completely threw me, and I just thought, "Who are you?" But it's fun, isn't it, when senses come? Uh, so, have you got a highlight? Have you got something else you're looking forward to in this week? I just want to talk with people. There are so many people who are needy. So many people who are just, especially after the session this morning, saying, "Oh, you know, I can just relax." You know, there, there are things, expectations, permission was given to do things differently. Just to helping people relax and in, into life and enjoy life a little bit more through understanding sensory processing. So. And the question I've been asking everybody who sat down, how many years have you been coming to Teach Camp? Oh, I think we worked out we're nine years now. So we are, we're quite, we're doing well. We're up there, I think. 